Alright, what's up guys? This is 6 9 here, also known as Call Master Senpai. Today, um, I'm gonna release a tutorial on how to play Sirius or Cyrus or whatever you call them. Um, I'm not streaming these days because uh, Twitch kind of locked my account. Uh, this two factor authentication shit, um, I had it on my other phone, but I left it home. So I can uh, use it to authenticate myself to log back into Twitch. Um, how did I get to this point? Pretty much, I think someone tried to hack me or something. Um, there was like a link on my browser and I couldn't go across. They wanted me to like sign in or whatever. So I had to like clear my browser history, restart my computer and all that shit and only install some stuff. And pretty much I was able to dodge that attack. But then as the result most of my data I've been missing like my login uh password and all that shit so that's part of the reason why i'm not streaming uh i'm still waiting for them to fix them though so all right so this video is gonna be uh it's gonna be a stream actually um i'm gonna be borrowing uh a past recording from uh, another twitch streamer his name is zeef or you guys know him better as eerie um yeah so it's basically a, a a video of like a plot player um well i'm not really plot but you know that's what my rank says so i'm, I'm just gonna say i'm a plot player and eerie is a grand grand champion and pretty much i'm playing with uh some champions and grand champions this i think this entire match is like full of like high elo guys uh, grand champions like three levels above me pretty much and I'm healing for them pretty much so this video I, I had to be a little bit uh, cautious decisive like so uh, I think this is like the perfect video for me to like make a commentary for um, so without further ado let's get to it alright so as I said earlier the twitch Recording you guys gonna be watching is from another person uh, If you haven't followed him yet and you watch uh, battle right stuff, I recommend you follow him. He's a grand grand champion obviously, so Maybe you'll learn a lot from watching him and stuff uh, Zeef and I doesn't get along though um, I think he's he's I think he's fake like yeah he's pretentious he's fake in my opinion and as for me you guys know i like to keep it real so all right anyways he's a nice guy though y'all can go ahead and follow him and i'm actually borrowing his video <laughs> i didn't ask him for it though but anyways uh let's go ahead i'm gonna brighten this shit a little bit all right so i'm on the red team and on my side we have for Regan, we have uh Shinryu, Shinra, whatever your name is. And then we have Sirius and I'm on the Sirius. Alright, um there was a little bit of uh a technical difficulty or whatever uh on a on this guy's team, on Eerie's team. Uh one of his allies was AFK for a little bit. But you know, as for me, you guys know man, like I'm a I'm a very sport man. Spookman like person whatever a value sportmanship so I didn't like jump into them and start attacking that AFK or whatever you know so uh let's go ahead we're on that team they have uh cooler which is pearl they have like like these guys are really hard to attack like consistently right they have a jade this jade I don't know which build she's using though but it looks like it got some stealth in it they got some bombs and they got that healing from the uh, from the uh, interrupt there so um, I can't really show you guys my build I was running but anyways I'm gonna follow this a little bit like here alright so that's where the AFK happened and uh, Eerie is just standing there waiting for his allies i'm gonna come in here and get this orb though you know i need that energy and uh i'm just gonna in or eerie uh 
there's really no need to fight him. His allies are AFK. There is no need to fight him. It won't be fair for him, in my opinion, if we fought him. Be three v one. So I just ignore him, get the orbs, and uh, he tried to steal this one, but he was too late. I stole it. So at this point, we have like two orbs, a lot of energy, pretty much. I healed myself from a little bit of damage that he did to me. And then his allies came. Alright, right off the bat, we can see Eri attacking uh, Shinria. Alright, um, I don't know. I think Shira actually uh, used his space there, so when he came now, it was a it was a decent choice to like punish him and stuff. And so, yeah, that wasn't bad. Again, these guys are grand champion, like the highest elo, the highest level, pretty much. So, I don't know, like how. They make their decisions, but most of the time they are usually correct. Uh, so that's that. Alright, my boy, uh, for Gondor here is gonna steal that help. Try to steal that orb, but I don't think we got it. Uh, actually, we did. We did get it um, because from his perspective, like it didn't like show that he got energy. So that means we we took it. Alright, so again, um, Eri gonna jump on me here. And what I did was petrify him, take him out of the match for like two, three seconds, and then I weaken. I attack him to put weaken on him, and then I escape. And all right, the main objective here is to like, as for me as a support, um, I'm not attacking the guys with like 100 hit point. I'm supporting supporting my ally. The primary thing number one to do is heal them, and number two if is if I see them attacking somebody. And I know I can assist them. I should jump in there and do a little bit of damage. So that's what I was doing there. We got our pro to like 20% hit points. She's gonna space away. I put some petrify down. I petrify her. Fuck on her jump on her. He EX. He's healing off of his basic attack. He's gonna space onto her. Get that kill right there. At this point, right now, it's 3v2. So we are not in a hurry right now. Um, what we're gonna be trying to be doing. For the most part is to sustain ourselves and just wait for the vortex to come in or just you know play as a team and like not rush anything so they have to come to us they are outnumbered and they have to come to us to get to even that number out and like kill one person so all right so the free eye is ulting here i got caught in that ult though i took a huge chunk of my hit point and I used my counter right away because I knew like I was gonna get like um M1. And then if I if I actually got M1 there, I would have got stunned, got in stunned on the wall, and Jay would have finished her ult, I mean her um her snipe, and that would have been an instant kill right there on me. So I just hit my counter. Um again, this is like quick decision making stuff. And I just made my counter ready. Um, even though my counter kind of went to waste, um, I I was able to buy some time for myself with that right there because they couldn't hit me. Want to petrify the free idol? For Gunder is like really attacking, like really aggro right now, and he broke that counter a bit too early. Anyways, I'm just gonna back up and start healing my allies. We got a shitload of AOE from the Shinri out there, all on the floor, dancing revolution. And I think I ulted, and I, <laughs> I think I ulted here or something. Uh, what happened here? Wait, dang, this is too far. Anyways, I think I ulted or something, and I got caught in like a stun or CC, and that's how I died. Anyways, the J died right after, and. I stunned the uh, Shinria there on the wall. Try to ult him. He went into space. You couldn't take him out. For Gondor, he is super aggro on the free eye there. And he's able to take her out with the EXM1. So that that's round one going to us with the MVP being for, Gen for Gondor on the uh, rig on there. Again, these guys are back now. There's like no AFK now. So. It's actually time for them to be serious and for us to be serious too, bro. Alright, so I'm gonna wait for the timer.
So what I'm thinking right now is we have a lead, so I should do my best to stay alive and like just support my ally so we can keep winning. There's two more rounds left. As long as we win those, we are out of here. We don't want to give them any chances pretty much because, um, you know, it's just going to make the match go on forever. So, yeah. Alright, so match starts. I try to petrify the free idea. She's gonna jump out of it. And uh, I got sniped from the J there at the bottom of the map here. I'm gonna heal myself. Again, like if you're going against a stealth character like Jade, um, you gotta be very careful. You can't just walk into them like that because she's gonna snipe you out of nowhere. So that's why I'm like all the way in the back here as a healer. That's why I do. Um, this is why like I keep telling people. Um, when I play with other guys who are healing, I tell them to stay back most of the time. They don't listen, but this is me actually doing what I what I say, what I say to people. This is me actually doing it myself, right? I stay back. I, I try to like uh, take the focus off of myself so I can actually support the people in front of me, right? If I'm up front doing damage and I'm taking damage, all of my heals is going to go to myself, right? And my allies are not going to be benefiting from my role, so... Alright, Pork Hunter is in there, it's getting the stun off. I spaced in though and I gotta snipe again. Again, bro, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, like I'm not like super uh pro, you know, uh, when it comes to this shit. Sometimes I make mistakes, but you know, recovery and all that stuff is all it's all that um it's all that contribute to your to your overall skill level. I'm able to compete with these grandmaster uh a grand champion and champion guys because I know how to recover when I make a mistake and I know the basic the basic thing that I'm supposed to be doing whenever I play a rank match all right I try to petrify the free I was successful I petrified the uh, pro also Shinryu really got that CC off and I'm stuck in the corner here with Priya and she got to M1 me and I got my counter hit and each time I get my counter hit, the first thing I'm gonna be looking for is the weakest, um, all the type of the, the enemy, the type of enemy that I can hit without like procking any of that counter, or like the weakest um, person obviously with like the lowest hit point, so I can just contribute some DPS to them. And again, my right, I couldn't show you guys my build, but my 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 build is is pretty solid. I think it's is uh. I'm not going to toot my own horn here, but I think it's the best build for Cyrus in the entire game. Uh, yeah, for experienced Cyrus players. Anyways. Alright. Put some Petrify down. I'm going to catch both of them and I Petrify again. Like, Cyrus is really strong as a healer because he can, like, take people out of fight. Um, it, might, it might not be, like, a super long time, but those Petrifies actually adds up um, to the advantage for my team. Because if I can like petrify them and like freeze them for a little bit, maybe my ally can take that time to reposition himself, take that that time to like charge his uh EX M1, I mean M0 and all that stuff. And everything I'm doing pretty much is contributing something. I start ulting here, she just gonna run onto me and I know she's gonna start attacking me and stuff like that. So I put my counter up and she's gonna hit it. She hit my counter. The first thing I do is I space to her healer. Uh, you guys can see it here. But each time free, I hit my counter, and I have like that damage buff and like that free teleportation spell. Um, the first thing I do is like I, I search for a healer and I go and I smack her healer and I come back. All right. So each time she do that, I punish her healer for it. All right. So that's where I went and then I came back. Now we got mid on a control. We're gonna try to steal that orb in middle. And we took it. I'm gonna petrify that Freya again, taking her out of the match, just interrupting her, like making her like just for just frustrating her pretty much. And she can't really think straight right now because like it's just so annoying. Like you go into Regan, you gonna get stunned. You go in, you don't go into Regan or like you come towards me. Shinria is like damaging your allies and like you got like all these spells going out. And then if you come to me, I gotta petrify and I can just petrify you and walk away. So annoying, so. Yeah, each time again though, like each time I, I see that Pro is like 
out in the open and I can get towards her, I go straight to her and damage her. Like in a team fight, obviously the healer, the enemy healer is the person you want to be attacking. So by doing that, by doing what I'm doing right now, I'm like keeping the pressure onto them, which means Freya, Freya cannot be too aggressive. Uh, because she got to like peel for her ally and Jay cannot be too aggressive too and that will give my allies enough opportunity for them to do more damage so I'm ulting here right off the bat counters getting hit, CC going out gonna see that EX uh, space from the free out there trying to like charge up or um, get some shield and all that stuff but she's still gonna die because like it's just too much damage that's all I can say CC come from the uh, Shinria there, Pro is gonna get caught in it. She, uh, Shinria spaces up, drops some AoE damage. I put my Petrified down, it then hit the best, uh, the Pro though, she gonna escape. And uh, Raygun is doing insane damage, she gonna space right into the middle of us, and Raygun is gonna finish her there. Jade is caught in a 1v3 situation right now. She don't know what to do, she start ulting, I Petrify her. Raygun is gonna like CC her into the airspace under her. We got that shield coming out there. I'm just gonna heal myself there. We know that she's already dead. We're just trying to speed that stuff up. And she's like just running around and like doing some random stuff. Anyways, round two is gonna go to us. And I think I'm gonna secure this last kill here. No. I guess she got tired. She just walked into the vortex and died. For going against stealing that MVP for the second time, and this is the last round. Pretty much, if we win, win this, we win a match. And uh, again, the overall goal is when the match start, gotta play safe, and like I don't, I shouldn't fuck up. And I can trust my allies uh, because I know they are higher elo. I can trust that they know what to do and they're gonna do what it, what they gotta do. So I just gotta play my part. The bubble come out the bubble is coming out too early from the uh pro there though like we don't have any uh range well we have a range character but you know like shinria like, like the first thing he does is not like m1 basic attack them i mean m0 basic attack them like if shinria want to do damage he will just space up and like just attack you from like 50 miles away um that's that's why he's broken that's why they call him the broken character the brain dead character so that bubble coming down there from the pro i think it's it's a bit too early and uh it's a bit too amateur pretty much for this elo type of um yeah i don't know what else to say about that all right raygun is putting some aggro on the j there um usually like when you win in matches like this like usually the third round is usually the round that you actually lose so I don't know why, but it's usually, it usually happens like that. Like the enemies, kind of like they they usually pull one off every time. So um, I'm gonna heal them though. But this match, I think it's the, it's the toughest. Um, this round is the toughest of all the rounds, pretty much. And I'm just gonna just do what I can to keep these guys alive. I put my counter up though. I missed that counter there. Jay got a decent snap, bro. I went from 100 hit point to like 30 hit point, pretty much, in like one mistake, bro. I could have, I could have died right there, but you know, I'm just going back out easily. Uh, luckily for me, in the Shinri, I CC that um, the free out there, and she couldn't get onto me. I already had a static on me, so if she actually like she didn't got, if she didn't, if she wasn't CC, bro, that that would have been an instant death. So. I think that's the pug, um, pug right there, play of the game, uh, right there from the Shinria, so really saved my ass. Alright, and I still took some damage from her though with the M1 there, went down to like 20 hit point. Again, I space in. Um, yeah, my goal here pretty much is to do damage, like, I know I can heal myself and I know they did true damage to me and I really can't recover like that unless I get the green orbs. So I, I really at this point I have nothing to lose. Like I know I can take risks because we won, we won two rounds and they have zero. So if we lost this round, like we got like two more chances pretty much. So I can be a little bit aggressive here. Um, yeah. So 
anyways we got some cc's coming from the stream reel there break on counters getting hit cc going uh petrify the freer again again like most of my petrify been used on freer because i know like she's the most aggro character in the entire round and i know that she's the one i can see obviously and i, I can predict where she's gonna be standing and stuff like that and pretty much what she, she's gonna do so by petrifying her taking her out of the match we get a lot of uh we get a lot less uh stuns going out a lot less cc going out from the free out there and basically they can do setups right we can do setups uh with the shinryu and the cc and stun from Regan, but they cannot do setups because i'm just petrifying every other nice way to avoid our counter Regan. And every time again she comes to me, I just petrify her. She's doing a shitload of damage to my allies though. We are all like 20 hit points. And uh, yeah. Alright, EXM1 from the rig on there. Healing himself, spaces, misses, that. I almost got sniped there, bro. If they had actually hit me with that combo, that snipe and that M1 from the ra um from the free out there, that would have been an instant kill. But I legitimately just spaced away from that shit. I would have that would have been a kill right there. I don't know what else to say about that. Alright. I think it's gonna replay though. Right there. Wait. Wait for it. Right there, see there, she she was about to snipe me, and the free ice about to M1 me too, bro. And I just space out of that shit. Look at that. All right. She's doing insane damage to the Shinryo though. I try to petrify her. I missed that. I'm gonna steal that orb with my space and my M1, which was charged, and I applied weakening onto her. So for a few seconds, she wasn't doing enough damage. I apply weak onto the pearl too. She got CC, insane damage going out from the uh, Shinria onto her there. Her um, rig on counter did not get hit though. And I don't know what happened, but uh, actually Jay just EX there, giving her pearl some heals and stuff. Uh, an, an ultimate come out from the pearl there. Rig on is like so low. It's like so scary right now because if he dies, bro, like. He been doing insane work, so if he dies, there's a huge chance that we're going to actually lose this. Well, anyways, again, Shinria is like, this Shinria is really nice, bro. Like, he's, he's like, saving us left to right, bro. So, he drops his uh, EX, I think it's EXE right here. And I'm just going to space into that and just get close to the Pearl and M1 her with my charge M1. That's an instant kill right there. So 2v3 right now. More space out of that, and my goal right now in a 2v3 situation is to keep my allies alive because look, 10 hit point, 10 hit point. So I just gotta keep them alive. A stun come onto the J there, gonna finish her out. And uh, when the free are left, I'm gonna start ulting free, steal that orb. Stun come out from the free though, gonna hit the ray gun, ray gun is stuck on the wall. Try to petrify the free I miss auto. And she got a lot of static on me right now. I space away, putting my counter up. Again, like 1v3 is kinda weird because like everybody using that ability and like sometimes you just miss and like it's a high probability to hit her counter. So that's why she was leaving for a little bit. But I was able to like get closer to her and just finish her out. Now that was a very frustrating match for the Freya. Um anyways. Again, as I said, like you guys can come to uh, Zeef channel and like subscribe to him. He like plays this game like every single day, and uh, yeah, I think he deserves more followers. Um, so yeah, I used to play this like every single day too, like twenty four sec, uh, twenty four seven. How do you call that shit? Twenty four seconds, twenty four seconds, twenty four seven. I don't know. Anyways. I used to play this shit like like crazy. Um and it's it's kinda hard right now for me to do that because you know 
you guys know how it is with this game it's kind of dead developers don't care about it anymore so it's no need wasting my time on it anyways though i play it once in a while and when my like my account get like on ban i mean uh unlocked or whatever i want to start streaming again but that's just a little uh tip on cereals because i've already done like i think i did uh two characters so far this gonna be three what was it too? I don't know. Anyways, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Um, I don't release video often, but you know I'm gonna try my best to be releasing video these days. And uh, yeah, go to my Twitch channel, <laughs> and if you can find it, go ahead and follow that and stuff like that. So I'm gonna see you guys later. Peace out.